Hello everyone and welcome to Rodan Man's Reviews. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Uncanny X-Men uh, 80th Anniversary Silver Samurai. So taking a look at Silver Samurai, we'll go ahead and pull him off the stand here. So taking a look at him, you know, he's got all of the familiar... Uh, you know, articulation that we're used to. So arms go out to pretty much 90 degrees there. Uh, you can see the shoulder pads. Usually when sh uh, a character has or a figure has shoulder pads like that, it tends to, um, you know, it tends to prohibit a whole lot of movement. These arms do go out pretty much to the 90 degree angle. Of course, we have the pivot at the, or the swivel, excuse me, at the, uh, at the bicep. We've got the swivel at both wrists. Uh, he's got an ab crunch forward. He's got an ab crunch back. So pretty good there. He's got uh, the double jointed arms, the double jointed legs. Both legs double jointed looking really cool. He's got the feet. Have of course the peg holes in them. Feet go point down. Feet point back up. Okay. Now, as far as accessories for Silver Samurai, um, what we have is, of course, his uh, katana and wakizashi. So, uh, those are pretty much the only things that we have for him. I'll go ahead. They fit in the in the hands pretty well, though. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, they're they're pretty. You know, sometimes you might have a little bit of a struggle getting uh, a weapon, a sword, a gun, or what have you into a figure's hand. Not so much with Silver Samurai. He's He's really, I mean, it's tight, it's kind of snug, I'm not going to lie, but it goes in, it fits in there very nicely. There's not a whole lot of, uh, there we go, there's not a whole lot of, of struggle with it. You know, once you get it in, it's, it's, it's a pretty firm hold that he has on it. Uh, and the swords themselves, uh, it, you know, sometimes also, you know, you'll buy some swords and they'll be... A little weird, maybe a little crooked when they're in the package. You get them out, so you have a hard time straightening them. I haven't really had that problem with Silver Samurai. I mean, both of these swords look look pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, you know, as far as the costume itself, or the you know the um, you know what he's he's wearing the this traditional you know Silver Samurai garb. As far as the paint apps, I should say looking pretty good. I don't see anything that sticks out as being um, not not you know as uh, glaring issues with it or anything like that. Of course I mean he's all silver so um, this is kind of almost more almost like a almost like a gray with the legs here so it's more silver here on like the the coat the um, shoulder pads you know around the wrists and the hand guards there on either side, uh, and then on the the shins here, you know, the, the silver going around here. So, um, and then the helmet. I'll try and get in there. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I'll try and give you guys a pretty good view of them here. So, overall, a really, really good figure. Yeah. I mean, um, so yeah. So Silver Samurai, uh, Uncanny X-Men, uh, 80th anniversary figure, you know, has all of the articulation and things that we come to expect. Oh yeah, and then also, I forgot to mention, he's got like these little places on his side, these two little hoops. It's not really a scabbard to speak of, but it's a place where you can slide the swords in. So as you see... There we go. Looking pretty cool. So, so and, and I'm all about anything that's, um, you know, any kind of like Japanese culture stuff like, uh, you know, samurai or ninja. I, I really love that kind of stuff. So this figure was kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, definitely a very cool, definitely a very cool figure. So Silver Samurai, Uncanny X-Men. Very cool figure, awesome articulation, awesome sculpt, great paint apps, cool accessories. What more could you want? So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I will see you all next video.